Now then, I've done a few videos about the International 684 tractor that I picked up a few years ago and it was a bit rough um, and when before I bought it put a meter on the battery and it was showing 17 volts so I knew we got a duff alternator hence we were able to knock a bit off the price even further anyway this is a Lucas ACR alternator yeah and on the back there there's two positive connections and that smaller connection is the one that comes from the ignition warning light through to the regulator anyway because this is or the one on the tractor was showing high voltage we knew the regulator was faulty so I've got another one of these in the vise of course these alternators were on my Sherpa vans, the 200 series Sherpa vans, all sorts of things. For donkey's years they were on a lot of uh, British cars so um, when I wanted another one I just went up into the stores and there was a couple laid there from those days of the early 90s I think it was or it might have been late 80s but you know don't chuck stuff away although that is a bit of a vicious circle right let's have a look at this one okay so what I did actually the alternator that was on there was quite good apart from the voltage regulator and it had a big pulley on it and all sorts of things so I thought do you know what all we'll do is swap the regulator over so here you can see that's the regulator so we've got the black wire going to earth and this other wire whatever colour it is it looks sort of reddish goes to there yeah and any of you know uh, know about these sort of things, alternators. Now I'm not sure about the modern ones, yeah. But effectively, all these alternators are. Uh, that's a different different um, socket size. But all these alternators. Uh, a three phase output so that is a three phase rectifier three phase variable AC out of the alternator DC out between there and the earth and here in this little block here there are two carbon brushes that go on the end of the rotor to make the rotor into a magnet there's a magnetic coil inside the rotor and then then the rotor is based of fingers like that and it spins with the coil inside and so therefore we get positive one end and negative the other like that so we got positive negative positive negative positive negative which of course yeah, magnets spinning past coils which would be the stator the outside of the alternator um, creates electricity however this regulator varies the voltage that goes into that stator yeah and so therefore voltage uh, varies the strength of the magnets in the rotor which effectively uh, controls the voltage output so there you go so all I did was undo that one undo that mounting one and undo that take one out put another one in jobs are good and yeah so it's not rocket science yeah don't be scared of it and you know you may think oh I can't test it well of course you can you can put it back on the tractor or the vehicle or whatnot and see if it works yeah 
if you know an alternator is giving over volts, I mean we're not talking ultra modern alternators now because they're controlled by the ECU and all sorts of crazy nonsense. Yeah, just to make sure that the vehicles uh, are beyond economic repair as soon as possible. Yeah, what's wrong with this system? It works and you can fix it. Anyway, that's it. Lucas ACR or some of those earlier alternators, you can just swap the voltage control unit for another one you've got in store. Hopefully you'll find this interesting and useful. So I will catch up with you very soon. Cheers for now.